Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is dysfunctional today. I am a mess. I just got done making like five or six TikToks. By the way, I'm on TikTok now and my screen name or whatever on there, my handle is AZ for Angela, same as YouTube, but I also just got done making some Starbucks holiday blend coffee that I bought from Costco. I love it so much. And I'm using my Halloweeny cup still, even though we're in November now and everyone's turning to Christmas. I will admit, I did get up my Christmas tree, you guys. It's just a little one. It's not a big one. When the kids were like you know, younger, I had a really big Christmas tree, like six feet or above. I think it was a six footer. And now it's like the kids are grown and I just don't really find a need for it anymore. But anyway, so I have my holiday coffee in here. This room is a mess because I'm using it for Oh my God, so many things and I need to organize this room. And that's going to probably be my goal today after I'm done recording with you guys is I need to organize this room um, and figure out like maybe get some bins for Christmas gifts that I can, um, you know, organize and things like that and like get rid of some of this other shit in here because there's so much of it. It is crazy. I'm going to be lubing my lips with this wet and wild little fantasy moment. Um, by the way, today's video is going to be candle empties. I've been talking now for almost two minutes and I didn't even tell you guys what this video is going to be. So here we go. Better? I don't fucking know. I also have a zit on my face right here. It has been there for almost two weeks now because I'm going through menopause. So I'm getting hot flashes at night. My face is breaking out. I'm having cravings and weight gain. So welcome to 48. By the way, I'm also wearing my Packer little sweatshirt um, just in case, you know, any Packer out there is watching. I see you. I hear you. I love you. I don't really watch the Packers, but I can definitely dress up in the apparel. Okay, so we have Yankee Candle, um, DW Home Candle, um, Goose Creek Candles, um, Coles Candle, and one little candle that was sent to me by um, a mom and pop little company off of, off of TikTok, actually. So let's get into these candle empties. By the way, I haven't cleaned off any of the jars, just in case you guys are wondering. Some people actually fudge their candle reviews and they will take a wet wipe. If, if, okay, here's some tea. Here's some tea. If you're sent a candle from a candle company, right, and you're being sponsored and you want to you know, updo it a little bit and say, oh, the candle didn't have any problems, blah, 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 blah. They will take a wet wipe, the, the person doing the review, and they will clean around the jar and get all that soot off. So it looks like the candle had a flawless burn, but in fact, it didn't, and they're lying. So that's tea right for you there. Um, I'm not going to be that person. I have never been that person. What you see, bitch, is what you get. So this first one is a Yankee Candle World Journey. Now this one, you guys, is an old one from the outlet. Oh shit, I don't have my glasses. Son of a bitch. Oh well, we'll, we'll try to see. Because I like to see the pour date. I like to tell you guys what the pour date is. So this one is 2015. Oh my god. That's seven years ago. Anyway, this one is South American Dragon Fruit. Uh, Yankee Candle had these World Journey Collection candles. They're two wick candles, as you can see. And this one did really well. No soot. The wicks were great. And yeah, it smelled amazing. It does smell like dragon fruit. And it is so good. So if you guys have a Yankee Candle outlet near you, I highly suggest getting these ones because they're so cute 
and they do really well. Now, this little candle is from that mom and pop shop that I told you guys about it was Pumpkin Slut. And for a new candle company, she did a really good job. There was a little bit of soot, as you can see on the candle jar on the top there. You know, a little bit of soot is okay. Um, just, you know, if you get into like one of those candles though that have like a lot of soot, like that's an issue I would suggest blowing it out. I did trim the wick with this each and every time. And there is a lot of wax um, left on this candle and the candle went out. So that may be a little concerning or if you want like to not waste things, what you could do is you could melt this wax in here on a candle warmer, uh, like the plate, and then you could put this in a candle warmer and you could still get that, that fragrance out there. So that's always a possibility. Now let's get into the Hocus Pocus collection from Goose Creek. This one was Halloween night and all three of these you guys did pretty well. Um, I was sent these companies through Goose Creek for free, so I'm not gonna lie. They each had like the tiniest little bit of like a smoky smell, but other than that, they did fabulous. So let's look at this one first, the Burn Flawless. And this one did really good for having white wax. Normally, you can't really see a lot of soot if you have a colored wax in there. But this one is a white wax and you'll see like, like literally traces, the tiniest little bit. But this one did really well. And you guys, can we just talk about the label on this one? Like for halloween -y time, isn't that cute? They did a really good job partnering up with Disney. Um, the other one that I had was Broom Squad. This one here, a little ASMR action going on. Broom Squad. Um, and this one burned all the way down to the ground, as you can see. Oh, smells so good. And these looked really pretty at nighttime, um, just because, you know, the, the light kind of shined through the candle and it made it look a little bit spooky. So if you guys don't have a Yankee candle near you and you're tired of Bath and Body Works candles, I would suggest looking into Goose Creek. They have tons of candles online and they're inexpensive candles. Like the prices are pretty damn good. So this one was Forever Bewitching. And this is a different type of a label going on here, as you guys can see. And this one was a red wax and she did pretty good. She didn't do bad at all. She burned all the way down. There was no tunneling. Oh, and it smells so, so good. So those three candles were really nice. Um, let's get into this one here. Now, this one is by Scentworks. If you guys are unfamiliar with Scentworks, this is a candle from Kohl's that you can buy. These are those heavy-duty octagon. Is it an octagon shape? I don't know. Um, heavy-duty octagon candles that they have right now at Kohl's. I, excuse me, bought every single one this season because I usually have... Good luck with these. Now, this one is Cinnamon Reef. And yes, Red Hots, 100% Red Hots. I do love the label. I appreciate a good holiday-esque label. Um, I want to say that this one started tunneling or did something. Something happened with this candle. I can't quite remember what it was, but I had to put her underneath my wax lamp. Now, if you don't know what a wax lamp is, go back in my videos and search up wax lamp and one of them will come up. The company sent me one of them um, off of Amazon or whatever and they had me do a little review and I really like them a lot. So if you're having problems with your candle and you don't know what to do, you can stick it underneath a wax lamp and basically there's a light bulb on top um, and then you set the candle down and the light bulb goes up here and it heats the wax from the top. And then when you don't smell anything anymore, you take the candle, dump the wax, there's new wax in there and you start again. So this one, I was just kind of like waiting, um, 
to do around Christmas time again. So I'll probably be sticking this one in the wax warmer um, or the lamp and doing that. Um, let's see. Yeah, 14.5 ounces. And it just says winter greens, cinnamon stick, nutmeg, and clove buds. So beautiful. Here we have a Yankee Candle medium jar in turquoise sky. One of my favorites because you guys, the old school labels, isn't that gorgeous? They did such a good job with these old school labels and it just sucks that they don't make them anymore and they're just really shitty now. Um, but anyway, this is Turquoise Sky. I love the color of the wax as well. It's that bright kind of oceany blue color. This was a one wick, gave me a little bit of soot as you can see on the top there, but look at that burn. Flawless burn. The old school Yankee candles, flawless burn. Love them. Here we have a village candle. I forgot to tell you guys that I did have a village. So this one is in Blueberry Muffin. And she did so well. Yes, there's a little bit of soot on there. Oh my God, it smells so good. Just like a fresh bakery. Um, but yeah, the soot was a little bit too much. Now, like I said, I'm not going to clean the inside of the jar and lie to you guys and say that there wasn't any soot because there was. Um, but this one is butter, brown sugar, cream, and blueberries. Label is really cute. They did a good job. Okay, here we go. This one is my pick. I probably have a good burn, one or two burns left. But this is Cascading Snowberries from Yankee Candle. New label. Not happy about the new label. But... You guys, this smells so good. Oh, the evergreen, the snowberry. And it's hard to describe, like, if you don't know what a snowberry smells like. I mean, this is it, though. This is like, if you want a little bit of floral, greenery, and crispness to the air, like, it just smells really crisp. This is it. This is the scent of the season. I got this at the outlet. Let me see if I can look to see when it was poured. I cannot because it has a yellow label. When they have a yellow label on the bottom, that means that you won't be able to tell the pour date. Now, with this turquoise sky one, though, this one was poured in 2015. So you're going to want to look at the label here. See all these numbers, all these numbers. See this little number over here that's going horizontally? So turn that over and the first, you guys can't see them, but the first two numbers um, on that number is 15 and then it goes into six zero. The first two numbers is the year of the pour date, just an FYI. So now let's get into the large jar of Yankee Candle. This one, cinnamon vanilla, so good. Look at that burn. Look, no soot whatsoever in this burn, in this can. Well, maybe a tech. No, this is the, the red label coming off on here. There is no soot on this bad boy. Trim your wicks. So this one was poured in 2014. So this is an older one from my collection that I chose. It, it smells so good, you guys. It's cinnamon, but it's not like a spicy cinnamon because it's added vanilla to it. It's like a fluffy vanilla. So good. And then the last candle that I have here, and you guys, this one was so good. I got this at TJ Maxx and I was so happy that I picked it up. I almost didn't. This is the Butterscotch Mocha by DW Home. And look at the top. Oh my God. Isn't that cute? Look at the little hearts. Look at the little hearts. So cute. Um, this was a two wick. We did have some soot going on here now. We did have some soot, but I did trim the wicks. But look at, oh, it smells so good, you guys. So good. So those are my candle empties. Um, if you guys have any questions or whatever, leave them down below. Don't forget to follow me on the TikTok. And I'm also on Instagram. I haven't really, I've been posting a little bit on Instagram, but more so TikTok. I'm having a lot of fun over there, you guys. So 
definitely check me out over there. Don't forget to leave a comment down below because I have been reading all of the comments. If I heart your comment, that means that I saw your comment. <sighs> and I think we're done. We're finny. I need more gloss just cause everything is dry. Okay guys, have a great day and God bless. See you later and don't forget to subscribe.